what is the difference between cell and the name of the class inside a behavior or a function what do I mean by that I mean when you want to reach this attribute for example from this behavior you have to put the name of the class dot the name of the attribute that you want to reach from this behavior or this function okay now I should put here cell instead of putting the name of the class and this is the correct way of reaching an attribute of an object but let us put the name of the class only like this okay let us create a new object that is called for example uu equals student okay now the variable that is called uu is containing an object now uu dot behavior number one we will run this function or this behavior that is inside the object okay run you can see the behavior or the function the same behavior behavior number one that is inside the object that we have created prints this value student's name because this value student's name is a value inside the attribute that we are reaching and this behavior that is called student name okay let us say we want to change the value of the attribute student name inside the object uu okay student name equals for example Muhammad like this now we want to run the behavior number one the function number one that is inside the object because we have changed the value of the attribute student name now behavior number one should print Muhammad the new value we will run the code and uh, it didn't print the new value it prints the value that was or the same value that was in the class student's name why is that okay let us say that we have a class and this is our class contains an attribute that is called student name and student name contains a value that is student's name okay and also that class has a behavior or a function that is called behavior number one and this behavior prints uh, the variable or the attribute that is called student name from the class student after that also we have an object okay a copy of the class and the attributes of that object has the same value as the class student's name and also it has the same behavior as the class behavior number one and it prints student name 
from student class. Okay. Now, let us talk about the class. When we run behavior number one, and we go to the line of printing student name from the class student, and this time we are reaching the student name or the attribute that is called student name inside the class itself. Okay? Okay. And when we print the value, it will be student's name. Okay. Now, we will talk about the object. Let us say that we want to change the value of the attribute that is called student name only in the object and we will change it to Muhammad this is the new value of the attribute that is called student name inside the object only now when we go to behavior number one or function number one in the object and run it and this time the line of printing student name it doesn't reach the attribute that is called student name from the object it reaches student name from the class because we are putting the name of the class dot the attribute because of that it goes to the class after that it takes that attribute and print it because of that we got here student's name Look, we change the value of the attribute that is called student name to Muhammad in the object inside the variable uu only. But when we run behavior number one, because in the behavior number one we are saying student dot student name. And this time, behavior number one will not go to student name that is inside the object itself. It will go to the student name that is inside the class. And because of that, it prints student's name. We should put self, not the name of the class because we have said when we run a function or behavior the object takes itself and it passes itself to that behavior or to that function now the object is saved inside self now we can say the same object from the same object self gets the attribute that is called student name. Now we can see Muhammad, the new value.